Hello, welcome to ToddFun.com, where I do what I think is fun. Uh, and Well, this week I have a camera guy. Alex, say hi, Alex. Hi. <laughs> I'm tearing apart my uh, whole camera rig here, and so to shoot videos I need an assistant, so my son is helping. Uh, this episode is going to be another episode of what I bought on eBay, or actually this is Craigslist. I've checked Craigslist, and I uh, was looking up test equipment, and I found a fluke, okay, and a really nice fluke. This is the Fluke 287. It's the combo kit, which means it includes uh, Fluke View and the data cable and the software and so forth to go with it. Now, the amazing thing isn't that I found it. The amazing thing is the price. Huh. Essentially a, a mint in the case, never used, Fluke 287. Wow, that looks nice. Oh, actually, sorry. It's a Fluke 289. <laughs> I just got it. I, I knew it was a 289. I just got it, though. But I, uh, I literally, all I did was just pull it out of the case. I wanted to make sure it was good. I met the guy um, at a shopping center here in, uh, in, in Mesa. I brought my uh, Voltage Standard Digital Multimeter Test Kit. It's a, basically a board from VoltageStandard.com. It, it makes sure that your voltage meter is uh, is got good resistance readings. Real, it's got really high accurate resistors, voltage reference, current reference, um, frequency reference, and you can take this board and make sure that your equipment is uh, fairly close to spec. It's uh, like a poor man's uh, calibration tool, uh, but really, you know. You, these you could use these in a school or college and or just spot check your equipment it's not full on calibration but it sure is nice to know that equipment is working properly with uh, like a sixty dollar uh, little kit here and I'm going to review this later I, uh, I actually got this myself I bought it just for doing stuff like this and testing my equipment um, so I'm going to do a review on this later it's kind of a fascinating little thing um, and uh, I checked it out there in the shopping center where I was buying this from a guy off Craigslist and it checked out perfectly. So the price, ho oh, oh, ho, $275. That included everything, the Fluke View software, the few, he even actually had gotten the manual, which normally you wouldn't get. So I got the manual for Fluke View. The discs are in there, the cable, data cables in there. Um, it's really nice, um, a really nice kit. Now, the, you could get this uh, Fluke 289 for probably 300, 350 on eBay, abused and abused, but you wouldn't get it for less than 400 in that good a condition. And this actually has an extra $200 worth of uh, Fluke View if you want to buy that separately. It's like 200 bucks. This particular kit, which is the, essentially called the uh, FVF kit, uh, combo kit, runs about $600 just about anywhere. And this is as new as it can be. The guy actually said he, uh, he, uh, he bought it for his job. He had to do really low current measurements and uh, voltage measurements for some uh, GPS equipment. And he only had it for two weeks and then he got a job as a manager for uh, another position and he never used it. So <laughs> he hmm. had to sell it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, I guess you uh, should have tried to sell it on eBay or something. but. What I want to do, though, that's pretty much it. That's just me saying, "Hey, look at I went hunting and I and I got a I begged a great buck." But okay, in this case, it's it's multimeter. Why do you have another meter? I have another one because I'm going to ask my audience, uh, would they like to see an actual full review between the Fluke 289 um, and the Fluke 87.5? Now, I think that would be a great side by side comparison. They're kind of different uh, caliper machines. But there's pluses for this, there's pluses for this. Um, I would like to do a review of that, um, but I just want to ask my audience how interested they are. I know that uh, Steve, uh, Dave Jones from EEV Blog has actually done a review of the 189, which was the intro to this uh, 289 kind of uh, cal uh, caliber of a uh, multimeter. <laughs> but uh, he, it was back before he was a partner with YouTube, and uh, that means that he only had like a 10-minute video, and he put up a couple 10-minute videos, and it really wasn't a lot. I want to go over every single feature this thing has, um, and I want to compare those features to this, uh, and I just want to know if my audience is interested. If they are, it's a lot of work. It would take me a lot of time. 
uh, to do it right. Um, but if you're interested, give me a give me a, a comment saying you're interested. I get about minimum of 500 to 1,000 viewers, and if enough of them actually want such a review of these two meters, let me know, and I'll do that. If not, I've got a lot of other things I can do. Um, and then a teardown. I'm not afraid to tear these down. I'm really not that concerned about the calibration. I'm just a hobby worker here. Um, my job doesn't depend on these being in cal. So I would like to know, is my audience interested in a teardown video, a full teardown of the Fluke 289, and a full, full teardown of the Fluke 87. I know I am. Uh, you are? Yeah, yeah Alex is a vote. But I want to see a lot of people want interest in that. I just, you know, a few dozen people wouldn't really. I got enough other things to do that I find interesting um, where I wouldn't be tearing apart my equipment. Um, but if a lot of people want it, then I'll do it. I'll tear it down. It would be a, a separate video from the review because that just does work best that way. And then we'd have a full on uh, uh, review of the, uh, the Fluke 8, uh, 289 and its internal guts on two separate videos. So let me know and uh, I'll get busy with that. It would take a little while, but uh, I'll try and get it done. And then don't forget, I'm going to have this uh, voltage standard review coming up where I review what I, what I actually use to test my equipment and make sure it's, it's, it's really, you know, this is actually more accurate than my equipment. So that's why I want to uh, do a review of this so you know that this is a handy little uh, kit to have from voltage standards. And uh, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for joining. Alex, want to say anything? Yeah. Why? I am Alex, the one who can. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I guess we got nothing from Alex. <laughs> well, I actually thought it was really interesting. You did? Mm hmm Okay. There you go. That's a cut. <laughs>